To make such a portrait, I needed such tools, an engraving machine and a set of special spokes of different calibers. I take the heater and heat the granite. I work a cold room and if the stone is not heated, then on its surface there will be a condensation of water from my body and breath. This interferes with the work. No need to overheat, the stone can crack. It's enough 5-10 minutes uh, if during the work all the same begins to appear condensation, then get rid of it with an uh, air heater. The stone needs to be wiped clean from the dust. For this I use a regular sponge with a rough surface. Then I place the image of the surface of the stone. I took a portrait of the late prince, aligned the picture and pasted it with adhesive tape in the corners of the sheet. First you need to glue one side of the sheet. Uh, then you need to attach the carbon paper to the surface of the granite. Stretch the paper and paste the opposite side of the sheet. Next I take the usual used ballpoint pen and trace all the facial features. I put a mat uh, under my arm. Artists understand this. We will accelerate. Uh, do not put your hand on paper. The paper will be deformed. The image will be erased. I'm crocheting everything that's needed to accurately transfer images, the contours of the head and its parts as well as glare and shadow. Don't confuse the active side of the carbon copy with the inactive, otherwise you will have to copy twice. First, it may not be clear what to draw. Personally, as to as I started engaging in engraving and a stone, I traced everything that could be disinfected in the image. But at the end of the work I was convinced of the usualness of the exact transmission of the Im image at the beginning of the work. Only with experience did I understand what to circle and what to ignore. A stone is not a paper. This is an unpredictable material. The more you convey the details, the more time you will spend on the processing with tools. It is also easy to get lost in the whereabouts of loyal trades. 
when you circle then try to use straight lines when you are carrying a pen on paper try to tilt in the direction of the movements and do not press hard otherwise you can break the paper and spoil everything When everything is ready, the unlock the bottom of the paper from the stone and swipe it. Remove the stuck carbon paper. Pour a white powder onto the stone and rub it gently with a cosmetic brush. As you can see, an image appears. Do not press hard with the brush. Lines can be erased. Look at all uh, the features on the spot. If not, attach a carbon paper, then paper and add the missing line. That's why I did not completely unstick the paper. Those parts of the image that do not fit on paper I draw with a special white pencil on the stone. If the painted lines are powdered, they will look clearer. By the way, this white pencil will not paint on a damp stone. When all the features are transferred to the stone, you can start engraving. First I take a bundle of knitting needles with prickly tips and knock on the 
surface of the granite. Each spoke is sharpened. If you knock with an ordinary iron sharp object, then the polished surface of the stone will not be dim damaged. Therefore, on each spoke, a honeyed finished tip is soldered, which easily damages the granite. As a result, a sharp pattern consisting of dots remains of impact. The larger the diameter of the spokes, the large the point. In this case, the diameter of the spokes in the beam is 2 mm. Spokes are connected with each other by ordinary paper bands. As a result, the knitting needles move with respect to each other and come in contact with the stone surface evenly. As you can see, I started engraving with the background. First, you need to try the stone find out how it is processed by the tool. I already said that the stone is different. It can differ in structure and in hardness. This affects the workflow. When I obscure the main parts of the background, I take a bundle with a small number of spokes and continue to separate the background from the face. In this bundle there are seven spokes. Each spoke uh, in this bundle has a con conical shape. This intentionally increases the beam. When the beam is not heavy enough then it is necessary to apply additional forces for impact. It's after a while that tires. Also, with this bundle you can even out the overall tone. As you see, after the treatment with the previous tool, many dark areas remain. This makes the image dirty and not even. This tool can fix this. This process I call cleaning. As a result, such a background turn it out. Now I take an electric tool with a single needle. 
he works on the principle of a jackhammer with these tools I perform more precise operations I can now accurately handle the counter of the head draw the air you cannot do it with bundles also this tool can be down hatching almost like a pencil next I'll call this tool just a machine for artists the machine can be compared to a pencil and nating needles with a brush Now I turn the granite slab 118 degrees to process the contour of the face. If this is not done, then there is a risk of wiping everything off that I copied with a copier. If you are dealing with a large granite slab and there is no way to deploy it you can bypass it and work on the other side but if you work with caution then you can work in one position the main thing is not to rub on the surface with a working hand just a glare from the lamp that was reflected from the surface of the stone was visible. This is problem when you work if the glare is reflected directly in your eyes. This greatly interferes with the work and affects the result. It should be placed indoor in such a way that the light does not reflect from the stone into your eyes or correctly place the light source itself i work with my right hand so it's convenient for me that the light source is to my left also avoid direct sunlight granite has a crystal structure often light falling on the surface of granite begins to reflect from some crystals and shines because of this shines it seems that the stone is already engrowing of the spotlight if you remove direct sunlight then immediately appear many untreated sites the image will seem friable. Turn the plate back to the correct position and start working with the face. I will first work with large knitting needles. Due to the fact that I clearly separated the counter of the profile 
you can safely work with this beam and are not afraid to get out of the face. I'll process the wool portrait first. I'll make a general tone. An important moment in the process of getting rid of dust. Dust hides flaws. It seems the part of the image is ready, but if you blow off or sweep the dust, you see shortcomings. Granny dust itself is also harmful to health, protect from inhaling it. As you can see at this stage everything is simple. The light areas are being processed, the dark ones are not. When I engrave I always look at the original photo. There you can see everything better than on an enlarged copy. Usually the wizards work with a copy of the image that was used during the translation. Just once the copy you can see all the lines that you copied to the stone. Next I take a bundle with seven spokes and process the smaller selected areas. Small parts cannot be processed with beams with the large number of spokes. The size does not allow. This tool differs from the previous bundle with tapered spokes. In this bundle not all spokes are sharpened separately. The central needles is sharpened separately and all the other spokes are sharpened together in a bundle. Also each spoke consists entirely of the tangent carbide. Tangent carbide heavier than iron. This beam does not need to be cooled by increasing the mass of the spokes. The drawback of such a tool in its price, but is very convenient. Its narrowed grinding allows you to process thinner section of the drawing. So you can remove dark spots on general background, make the image more uniform. This is the main purpose of this tool. This is the most accurate beam among the other but when it is necessary to process a large surface area of granite. It is not suitable.
Naturally, I combine tools depending on the task at hand. With experience, I began to determine when to stop the stage of work with one tool and move on to the next one. The bulk of the work I do with an electric tool. In addition to drawing clear contours and small details, I still like to restore the surface of the image. I make the transition between the stone more smooth. Only the machine can finally process the copied features on the stone fix them before erasing. When the lines are already processed, they are not afraid to erase accidentally with a working hand. The disadvantages of the machine are noise, weight and heating. Noise as an inductive tattoo machine but over time you can get used uh, to the shortcomings if you are good at graphics uh, then this tool will be ind indispensable for you the needle in the typewriter is also a carbide tungsten needle tip is sharpened on four face and looks like the tip of nail. Also use a diamond tip. Personally I prefer a carbide tungsten tip. Freshly sharpened tool works perfectly. Over time the needle becomes bull and needs to be sharpened again. If the quality of carbide tungsten is poor, uh, then it will often have to be sharpened. I use the carbide tungsten drill of a dentist as a tip. It's enough for a whole year. Another machine must often be disassembled and cleaned of dirt so it will work better.
Now you can clearly see how the machine strokes the surface of the stone. But each stroke is all exactly uneven. On the stone there are areas harder or softer. The stone seems to be strewn with such patches. On the soft areas the stroke turns out brighter and on the harder the darker. So you need to constantly fix it. There is always a danger of making any side brighter than required. If the darkness can be corrected for light, then light and darkness is impossible. So you do not need to immediately brighten the areas of the stone. Do this gradually. The more heterogeneous the structure of the stone, the worse it is to work with it. If you can work with such a stone, then you are a good specialist. Also, the result of the work affects the polishing of the stone. It is still hard to work with a stone that for several years already stood on an open air. Black granite has a property with time in the sun to become lighter. The stone acquires a rusty hue.
the eyes, mouth and nose are the basic details that are need to handle particularly often. It is these details that determine the similarity of the portrait to the original. Often in order to draw one detail you must first draw the next one. So it repeats again and again. For this it seems that I am working chaotically. I advise you to work at different distance form from the granite surface. When you process small parts you reduce the distance between the ice and a stone. But still important is how the image looks as a wall. To do this you need to look at the image from a distance and then correct the flow. You must do pause while working. If you work without a break, then you stop noticing the shortcomings of work. I am doing a portrait in two days. Every time I look at the image with a fresh look at the beginning of the workday, I notice flaws.
as you can see the machine can easily apply here trace moles create clear boundaries between tones or smooth them i will reveal one secret that it would uh, be better to see irregularities and dark spots on some part of the picture you need to worsen your eyesight this is strange and it sounds very controversial but i often change my focus of view achieving the effect of varying glasses for sight you can use your finger to pull the skin of the edge of the eye and you will understand what i mean i regularly apply this i know people with poor eyesight who achieve the same effect by simply taking off their glasses in general engraving is better for people who can draw i think it's best for tattoo artists i know a lot of people who do not know how to draw but they do and growing they are terribly good at it and growing on granite in my country has turned it into a profession people earn this life basically this profession is used to create tumble stone that's why i decided to make a video on the example of creating a portrait of the late prince I do or make eyes basically by the machine. Up to this point I almost did not touch the eye. Portraits are complicated in that they should look like the original. It often happens uh, that before the arrest copied lines uh, the portrait does not look like the original despite uh, the fact that all the features have already been tracked don't worry you just need to erase the lines and continue work carpet lines distort the portraits in the portrait black patches are quiet row try to avoid them if you leave clear black wrinkles on the portrait they will look and and nature exceptions are the nostrils people's hair or any deep shadow it is also often necessary to avoid clear boundaries between tones for example, if you draw eyebrows on the border with the skin without a smooth transition, there will be a feeling that they have been glue. But this is not a rule, but a counsel. Signs there are always exceptions. To do this, you need to be able to draw in order to find a solution in different situation
иначе просто все хреново, так понятно. Мои мысли улетают вдаль, их не вернуть обратно. Все балансы на пределе, все подборы, переборы. Что же будет дальше, Боже? Но сложные дни, мы не одни. Нас объединяют годы, не взгоды для нас не важны. Только были мы без неба мы.
finally I erase the copied lines. I make is the hard side of the usual kitchen sponge. Before removing uh, the black lines for the machine, which were left after erasing, I take the small bore beam itself and process the portrait at my oven description. Basically, I make brighter place brighter and smooth out the difference between tones. I also try to process the raw portrait with this tool. It is necessary to smooth out the consequences after working with large calibers beams. The skin should look more delicate and different from the texture in my opinion. If you always work only with this beam, the image will turn out to be dull as it is difficult for them to penetrate uh, the polished surface deeply enough. Don't forget to remove the dust, which hides the drawbacks of the picture. There is one more reason that can interfere with the work, is a reflection. It happens that the light is set up so that the surrounding object or the light sources themselves reflect on the stone. This reflection can light up the area that needs to be processed. You should avoid a white object in the room where you work, but you can get used to everything. The video show a reflection of the glare from the machine itself, but I'm used to it for a few years. When I process the dim areas, I set the machine to a short needle ejection frequency. It is also clear that removing the black lines I at the same time eliminate the remaining shortcomings and bright the image to a certain reflection. To do this you just need to look at the original drawing and redraw the details. It must also be taken into account uh, that when you clean the drawing from dark areas and dots, this place will seem later than it was. On this, uh, do not rush to make the side on stone completely clear before cleaning. There are times when you have to do some kind of side whiter uh, then you need or you did it uh, by accident. 
In such cases, it is necessary to highlight all the remaining areas of the drawing, keeping balance. This balance should be proportional to the original. For example, if the cheek is lighter than the eyelid in the original, then on the stone it should be just as lighter. And so with all part of the image, but it happens uh, that the original is not perfect. In this case you have to add something from yourself at your own description. After the eyes, I do the same with the nose, when with an ear. It is much easier and more uh, efficient to work with a machine when you break the picture into parts and dry uh, those parts to perfection in turn. If you constantly move from one side to another, you often miss something and eventually work longer, because you constantly need something to fix and finish. If you are going to engrave a an, uh, stone to make a living, uh, then sooner or later you will have to work faster and more. To make a drawing be beautiful, uh, you need a lot of time to convey all the details. Uh, for these reasons, masters frequently ignore small details and uh, concentrate on the main ounce, shortening the working time. Even for speed, it is more important to work with needle bundles and a smaller machine. Also for speed you can sacrifice detail and clarity. 
but personally I'm a bad businessman and work very hard, sacrificing my income. The only thing that remains for me is to optimize my workflow, breaking it into stage. Experiment and choose for yourself the most optimal method of engraving. Be careful, sometimes there are such areas on the stone that, when processed with tools, do not become light but remain dark. If you are faced with this, then you do not need to pick the side any further. Leave it behind and do to other details. Начало конца, ночи лучик света, это свет от тебя. Начнем разговор с тобою вдвоем. И нет сомнений, мне нельзя здесь оставаться Сигарета Винстон Лайн В воздухе парит, но почему же у меня Сердце так болит, сердце так болит Но почему? Тучи серые небо обнимают Ветром подкошенные листья подают, пепел развеянный тихо угасает, только одна на меня. Тобою душу, тобой наслаждаюсь, в тумане твоем я забываюсь, с тобою нельзя, без тебя не могу. Живу 
тебя Начало конца Мы лучик света Это цвет от тебя Начнем разговор С тобою вдвоем И Бог с тобой давно Мы За короткую жизнь себя отдала Ты скоро умрешь, виноват в этом я Ты не моя подруга, жизни моей Потерять тебя сложно, но с тобою Болей, болей, в тысячи раз болей Вот и все, пришла пора прощаться И нет сомнений, я не Здесь оставаться сигарета, винстон лайт В воздухе парит, но почему же у меня Сердце так болит Сердце, сердце так
after I draw a portrait I'll paint it with white paint and if I make a hole in the image it will be as white as possible it will catch uh, your eye and spoil the image so do not pick in general after all of the bow you can be frighten it and do not uh, want to engrave and the stone uh, don't be afraid start with simple images with colors for example in the beginning uh, you will be cautious and slow uh, after some time fear will pass Under good lighting the portrait seems bright. When changing lighting it becomes dim. I need to make the portrait more vivid and contrast. So I'll paint in paint it. I took a white water based paint and mix it, it with a little water steering pour to the surface of the image and evenly right rate treat rate the usual kitchen wash club After the paint has dried, I wipe it with the back of the grog uh, wool inside. It is necessary to wipe out thoroughly. As a result, the portrait began to look loosely. Spots appeared, which again clean machine. Here is a portrait turned out. If after viewing you have any question, contact me at my email address or leave a comment. I hope the video was useful for you. Goodbye. And please forgive my English. Really, forgive.